G'day everyone. The new cases are in for my cameras. I've got the Pelican 1400 case for my Nikon DSLR. As you can see, I've got the Nikon body with the 55 200mm lens attached. I've got the hood reversed and clipped on. I've got the 18 55mm lens. I've got the battery charger and adapter. I've got the body cap for the Nikon an 8 gig thumb drive, a SD card adapter, I've also got the Pelican 915 case for SD, mini SD and micro SD. Also got another 8 gig thumb drive in there. This case I ordered with the pick and pluck foam. So everything's been custom fit to how I want it set up. The Nikon comes out rather nice. As you can see I've got the telephoto hood reversed. For easy storage. I just leave the strap folded up over there. As for the case itself, it's watertight, crush proof and drop proof. It's got the pressure equalization valve. It's got dual double throw latches stainless steel reinforced padlock lugs gel over molded handle very good size case for DSLRs I would recommend this to anyone looking for a good sturdy transport method for their cameras. I also got the 1500 which the GoPro's in. I'll do that video in a second. Okay we're back. This is the 1500 case. It's a bit larger than the 1400 just as a size comparison that's the 1400 versus the 1500 there's a bit of size difference This is the way I've got the case set out. I've got the GoPro Hero 3 Plus Black in the top right left hand corner. My batteries are just under it. They are double stacked. So there's a, one row of four, then there's another row of four directly under them. I've got the standard housing, then the dive housing, then I've got all the back doors stacked up in there. I've got the frame, both big and small versions in there also in there I've got four long nuts four long bolts I should say I've got the dual battery charger then 
then I've got the remote over here, the battery backpack, here I've got the chesty, the clamp, and the suction cup. I also dropped a lens protector in there. Over here, in the custom Leathercraft bags, zippered bags, I've got all the mounts and the short bolts. I've got a wrist strap, the swivel arm for the clamp, a floaty handle, USB charging cables, lanyard for the remote, another charge cable, external microphone, then in this custom leathercraft bag I've got I've got the adhesive mounts along with tethers and tether cords. I've also got the mount bracket for the remote, another strap, the keys for the remote, another protective lens. A few lens cap protectors, the GoPro back doors, and the rubber mat, rubber clip that goes in inside the mount. Surprising the amount of equipment I've got wedged into this case. The case is a good sized case for the GoPro and the accessories that I've got with the Go this GoPro. Some people may need a larger case or a smaller case. Behind the foam in the top, I've got the GoPro stickers and the HDMI cable. I've got the GoPro sticker on the top. As standard, two stainless steel reinforced padlock lugs, dual double throw latches, pressure equalization valve, rubber or gel over molded handle. Pelican 1500 case, very good case, and just some size comparisons between the 14 and the 1500s.
That is the 1400 versus the 1500. They're fairly equal depth wise. The 15 of course is deeper. The handle on the 15 is quite a bit larger than the handle on the 14. Both cases have room for custom, num custom name plates. Which you can order from the Pelican website. Custom name plates go in there. Again, this case is watertight, drop proof, crush proof, and all that. If you have any questions on the setup or the cases or anything else, leave a comment and I'll endeavour to get back to you. Please check out my Facebook page, True Blue Bloke. I'll include a link to that in the description. Cheers.